Hey there, explorers. I'm Dr. Bravestone. And I don't know if you knew this about me, but I really love games. I got this brand new game. It's a bullseye with a ball. I'm supposed to throw the ball and hit the bullseye or the center. But I really hurt my shoulder. And now I just, I can't hit it no matter what I do. I, I can't make the center. See, look. Well, I guess I should probably take a break. Do you guys want to come exploring with me? Jesus is the only person to have ever lived that was perfect. And do you guys know what? He doesn't expect us to be perfect, even once we are part of his family. Will you guys help me find the target? Great, there it is. We're still on our adventure through the Book of Romans. Let's see where we're gonna get off to today. Hey there, friends. Miss Colleen here with my friend, Pickles. You know what? I really love to play games like Dr. Bravestone. My favorite game to play is basketball. Pickles, what is your favorite game to play? I really like pickleball. Do you mean the game where you hit a ball over a net and you use a big racket to do it? Kind of like tennis or ping pong? Well, that's not how I play it. Instead of a ball, I like to use a balloon. And instead of a racket, I hit the ball with my beak like this. And then I decide when I score a point. Pickles, that sounds kind of confusing. How do people know if they're playing the game the right way? Well, they just do what I tell them. Hmm, Pickles, I'm not sure that would be very fun for the people who play with you. How do people know if they're playing right or if they even have scored a point? Gee, I never thought of it that way. Maybe next time I play, I'll play by the rules that everyone knows. Then we can all have lots of fun. Pickles, I think that is a great idea. Today, we are going to learn from the book of Romans about how when we follow God's rules, it helps us to know if we're doing the right thing. The Bible is God's word to us. And in the book of Romans, God helped Paul to write this. Both the Israelite people and the Gentile people are sinners and they are under the control of their sins. There is no one, not an Israelite, who knows God's special rules and laws, or a Gentile who is free from sin. Everyone does wrong things that make themselves feel bad inside, and everyone hurts other people and God. All people turn away from God and trust in things that are not the one true God and all of these sins separate us from God. Even if people know God's rules and laws and they follow them, they still sin, even if they don't do it on purpose. Knowing God's rules shows people that they sin and they can't do everything God asks. People can't make themselves better or bring themselves closer to God by following his rules because they can't follow his rules perfectly. Hey, Colleen, so if I can't be closer to the God by doing the right thing, what can I do? Pickles, that is a great question. There is something that we can do, but we are going to talk about that right after we sing a song to worship God. Will you stand with us? demonstrates his own love for us in this while we were still sinners Christ died for us Amen Amen God demonstrates his own love for us in this while we were still sinners Christ died for us Amen Amen Of sin is death, 
for our song, we learned that everyone sins, and even if we know and follow all of God's rules, we still mess up and sin. No one is perfect. But, Colleen, you said before the song that there is something that we can do to be closer to God. I did say that, so let's back up for a second. Pickles, is anyone perfect? Well, no. No one's perfect, except, except that Jesus is perfect. Jesus followed all of God's rules and he never sinned. That's right, Pickles. So what do you think we can do to be closer to God? Hmm, well, I think, I think we can put our trust in Jesus and he takes away our sins. That's it, Pickles. When we put our trust or our faith in Jesus, we let him do the work of taking away our sins. That sure sounds a lot like our memory verse. Romans 3, 22 and 23. We are made right with God by putting our faith in Jesus Christ. Everyone has sinned. Let's practice saying our memory verse a few times with our hand motions. Will you say it with us? We are made right with God by putting our faith in Jesus Christ. Everyone has sinned. Say it with us one more time. We are made right with God by putting our faith in Jesus Christ. Everyone has sinned. I am so thankful that God sent Jesus to save us from our sins. Thank you for joining us today, friends. And remember, you and your grown-ups can find activities to go with our talk on the website. Let's pray. God, thank you so much that you love us. Thank you that you have saved us from our sins by sending Jesus. We all sin and we all need a savior. And so thank you so much that you gave us Jesus. In his name we pray, amen. Bye. See you next time. Praise
to him.